I'm just getting ready right now to go to Manchester to see the Backstreet Boys on Tuesday and Anne Carter died a couple of days ago and I genuinely thought that Nick Carter just wouldn't care because they haven't spoke for years but then last night I seen a video of them performing in London and they were talking about family and he was really upset and I was like oh my god this has got to be so sad like if they talk about that at the concert when I'm go I am going to cry. Cassandra and I went all the way to Glasgow to find out the train was cancelled, so we both went to Pizza Hut and we had to ask somebody to drive us all the way to Manchester. When we went to the train station and asked why the train wasn't on, they says, oh there were supposed to be strikes today, but the strike was off so there was no reason for a train to be cancelled. Now I'm going to have to find out how to claim my ticket money back. That is typical Scott rule. When we were in Manchester, we visited three separate TK Maxis because it's our favourite shop. But actually thinking about getting a map and checking off all the TK Maxis in the UK. Sad, but true. In the very first TK Maxx, Cassandra found this lovely bag and jacket and it was a total bargain. On the first night, we went to an Italian restaurant for dinner and they sat us at a table where the bulb wouldn't stop buzzing and I genuinely thought I was going to take a mental breakdown. However, I'm living the calm life and I didn't say anything and I got through the meal. The meal was actually really excellent. I wasn't actually paying attention to the prices while I was ordering, but here's an example of what was available. They also had a special menu and an extra special menu. For drinks, Cassandra and I both got this limoncello spritz and a pint of coke each and this cocktail was really refreshing. I would say it was worth £8.50. I really wish places would stop giving you these ridiculous paper straws. I would pay an extra pound for a metal straw that I could just take about with me all night because I keep forgetting to carry mine around with me. For the starter, we both got bruschetta, which was really nice, but these plates were not practical. Every time you tried to cut into it, everything was falling off the side of the plate. This was Cassandra's main meal, which she really enjoyed. I forgot to mention the music in this place was driving me insane. Our side order of chips were completely poor and that wasn't cheap. I ordered cannelloni and it was amazing. The next day we went to the train station to meet my other friend who was coming to the Backstreet Boys concert with me. So we went to Pen and Pencil and I must say I don't recommend going here. I got this brownie shake and it wasn't nice at all. I got a side order of potatoes and hash browns because I was being greedy. I didn't eat them all. The sides were actually nice. Cassandra got these pancakes, which she liked, but she prefers to add syrup on herself. Because it was already added, it was quite soggy, so she couldn't finish them. My other friend ordered this, and I can't remember for the life of me what this was called. She says it was quite nice. I got a ham and cheese toastie, which I'm sure cost £9. And this was Cassandra's pancakes. Cassandra got a green tea, which she enjoyed. My other friend got a berry shake, which she says was disgusting. And my shake was just a complete disappointment. It was too bitter and it just tasted like dark chocolate. On the first night, Cassandra and I stayed in a travel lodge and they didn't have any soap in the room. And on the second night, I stayed with my other friend in at the Radisson. I had never stayed in a Radisson before and I thought this was quite nice. The shower was huge. It had shampoo and conditioner and soaps. But the room was really dark. The ceiling was dark blue and then you could change the colour of the headboard but there was no actual ceiling light so it was extremely dark. This was me getting ready for the concert and being too lazy to straighten all my hair so I just put it in a ponytail and straightened my ponytail. Took half the time. The arena was straight across from the hotel and at the bottom of the lobby I seen this wet floor sign. This is my favourite wet floor sign I've ever seen in my life. Since the arena was straight across the street we were at the front of the queue and we were in the standing part. The support act for the show was a DJ. I've never been to a concert before where their support act is a DJ, but I suppose it's better than listening to the same person singing that you don't like. I got these battery bracelets so that I could see myself on other people's videos and it worked because I've seen myself on loads now. As you can see, we were right at the front. We were so close to the front that when the screens came down, we couldn't even see the screens. And the only way to be more at the front would have been in the middle of the stage. Maybe next time, although I'll probably take a heart attack and die. I've already posted some recordings of the Backstreet Boys performing, but I've took the sound out of this video for copyright reasons. Look at how close we were. How did I make it through this concert without taking a heart attack? I will never know. Afterwards, we went to a couple of bars and I've completely lost the footage for this.
But that drink you just seen was called the Oasis and it was so good. It tasted exactly like Umbungo. Overall, it was a really good night. After our night out, this creepy guy walked past us and was staring at my friend. He then walked in front of us and filmed us over his shoulder. He then started walking really slow and filmed us from behind. I'm actually going to make a separate video about this because I posted it on TikTok and some men were suggesting what we should have done at the time instead of me filming him. I'll be posting the full video on this at some point during the week, so if you would like to tell me your opinion, check it out. The next day we done a bit more shopping in the train station before heading to Nando's. I am not a Nando's fan and I get everything mild. What do you normally have when you go to Nando's? Before going home, we popped into the Kurt Geiger shop and oh my god, I love this shop. It's insane that the Corelli shop is so boring compared to this. Oh, I just love everything. Then it was time to say goodbye to Manchester and I must admit, this view was actually quite nice. Definitely better than what it looks like during the day. I would really like to go back to Manchester again because they've got some excellent shops. Next time I would travel during the summer because the trains at the moment are all over the place. Hopefully I can claim our train fare back because the train on the way down was cancelled and the train on the way back was delayed so I need to try and figure out how to do that. I'll be posting more about this man and another nice man that we met in Manchester during the week. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye!